Hi friends, uh, this is an NPTEL course on risk-based engineering and uh, we are into our uh, fifth week and this is the fourth uh, lecture uh, on system reliability modeling. Uh, here we have, uh, in previous lecture, we, we discussed really an important um, parameter in uh, risk and reliability modeling and that is common cause failure. And, uh, uh, this is a well recognized uh, uh, parameter uh, wherein due uh, precaution is taken during uh, during uh, design as well as operation and as well as regulation of the plant now in this lecture we will be talking about uh, two very interesting aspect uh, that is uh, uh, risk importance or safety importance of the uh, component. Uh, always, uh, always there is a question that uh, how to prioritize that which components are um, more critical to the safety uh, than the other ones. So the quantitative method in probabilistic risk assessment or in even unavailability analysis, it provides an opportunity to assign risk significance to each system component structure that builds the plant and uh, uh, this is such a uh, such a uh, such an important attribute uh, wherein we can uh, work on our uh, prior, this prior, this enables prioritization of the components uh, and then that enables putting our resources on uh, on a requirement basis uh, so that uh, more uh, safety significant com uh, component, they get more attention in terms of resources that includes time, uh, time, uh, money, uh, and other um, other logistic aspects. So, uh, inspection importance or inspection measure is one of the attribute uh, which can be said is a it's a uh, it is a PRA is enabler of uh, uh, this method. Otherwise. Earlier, before PRA came into existence or in use or application, uh, it was a uh, expert opinion uh, approach was used uh, to prioritize the component. And uh, this approach, since it did not have any any uh, mathematical formalism, uh, it tends to be arbitrary. So uh, this pro uh, system uh, PRA tools or you know probabilistic tools have provided uh, assigning risk significance to the components and system. So uh, if we go into the background check of the importance analysis, um, it is in short it is called uh, importance anal analysis. It enables as I mentioned prioritization of component based on the uh, risk significance. And then experience so far has been that even if we uh, uh, even if you focus on 20% safety significant or risk significant component, the 80% risk issues we have addressed actually. So uh, let's take the example of risk-based in-service inspection. Um, there are two ways. One is qualitative attribute of likelihood and consequences and other one is the uh, likelihood and consequences which are coming out from the PRA study uh, which are uh, based on uh, rationals and systematic analysis. So uh, they can provide a robust uh, um, robust mechanism uh, for safety, identifying the safety significance of the component and in that in turn the um, focusing on in-service inspection activities. Uh, the second one is even maintenance activities can be focused based on the safety significance of the component and that's why we have reliability centered maintenance or risk based inspection. Um, so um, this uh, importance analysis is a key figure uh, in uh, PRA and uh, when the sets are analyzed uh, in a separate column, the safety significance of the component is also uh, provided so that we understand which cut set is more important than the other. Uh, other. So with this, we go to the next slide. This is uh, the very elegant and very simple uh, uh, importance measure. It is called 
bin bomb uh, importance measure. Uh, here, this importance measure is obtained by uh, putting the, the uh, it is a ratio of actually, uh, you know, component reliability divided by uh, system uh, reliability. So, okay. So, uh, I, it, uh, it is abbreviated as I, uh, ith component and B stands for Brin bomb is a function of T is equal to del RS and individual component of the uh, individual reliability of the component divided by RIT. Okay. So, the system reliability, so they basically we can say this com, uh, importance measure operates in uh, success domain, that is the reliability domain. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if we want to uh, analyze this one, uh, we have to keep system reliability as a function of uh, reliability where RIT has been put as one. That means the component is perfect, uh, perfect highly reliable minus system reliability uh, as a function of reliability where RIT, that is the component in question, that is ith component has been set to zero. So, uh, these two together, uh, that these two terms together for system reliability, it will provide, provide the bin bomb importance of the component. Um, so, uh, this will give us a value. Now, here there, there is a question that we got the importance measure of the, uh, of the component by uh, putting a value of 1 and 0. That means the reliability characteristic of the component has not gone into the model. So, um, uh, uh, this measure, even though it works well uh, in terms of uh, uh, ensuring that uh, which are the component which are important for plant operation or for reliability. But, uh, but if this is sense the characteristic of the component uh, in question. So, there is another measure of the other another option for bin bomb wherein the component uh, importance is assessed based in the failure domain. That means del fs is a function of uh, qt unavailability divided by individual components unavailability is equal to again the same procedure is same the qt value is equated that is unavailability is 1 and unavailability is 0. Of course, these are also two extreme notions, um, but then here the domain is failure probability uh, domain and uh, um, yeah, uh, this, is, this is more relevant from the risk point of view, but again uh, we are changing only two extreme values we are putting in. So, it does not take into account the component unavailability also. Uh, so, the, there is a next Im, uh, importance measure, it is called criticality importance measure. The limit of the brain uh, importance measure is that it ignores the reliability of the subject component as it evaluated by setting reliability uh, at 1 and then 0. Okay. Uh, the criticality importance of the measure uh, ICRT overcomes this weakness by, by affecting the relative or fraction of the reliability of the uh, component uh, in respect of uh, component in respect of the system reliability as follows. So, ICRT is equal to del RS uh, component reliability and del RIT into RIT divided by system reliability. So, here we get the brain bomb, the first term uh, here is a brain bomb impo importance. The first term here is a importance and then RIT, RSRT, this term is also there. So, here we capture the reliability of the component also using this term. Okay. So, the weakness of the brain bomb importance component is also and now the same uh, uh, same same model uh, when we develop in the failure domain it is uh, similar to what we have in the success domain. Uh, this is a brain bomb importance and this is correction measure are uh, affecting the component unavailability also. So, this is called 
criticality importance measure. Now, uh, there are three more important measures that we will be discussing and these are fuzzle vessel importance measure uh, and then, um, then um, risk uh, reduction worth and risk achievement worth. These measures other than the first version that we got in reliability domain, they are basically part of risk analysis and that's why they are used extensively. So let us see what fuzzle vessel importance measure uh, here we have, uh, first we will see this model operating in success domain, that is in reliability domain. So IIF fuzzle vessel, F stands for fuzzle vessel is a function of time is equal to important uh, component, uh, ith component reliability of, uh, and then system reliability, okay. Uh, and that, that's why how it is the ratio of these, these two uh, and we get the um, importance index or importance measure of the component. Uh, now let us see the same definition in failure domain that is QT as the operating parameter. Okay. So fuzzle vessel importance measure in QT domain it looks similar to uh, success domain only failure probability domain we have used. So II fuzzle vessel as a function of T is equal to FI that is failure probability given QT and system uh, failure probability given QT that is component unavailability as a function of time. So um, uh, we saw that uh, it is now uh, this is basically for a small faultry or if you are dealing at system level uh, this important measure are very uh, relevant and important. But uh, when we are uh, working on uh, probabilistic risk assessment, we are developing a plant model. That time we have the cut sets and we have to identify the cut set importance. Okay? So one way of looking at the cut set is the cut set frequency itself will bring out the uh, safety significance. But then the importance measure uh, um, treats the individual contribution of availability of a cut set in respect of the whole system unavailability. So it gives a very global picture actually. So that's how why we, that's why we have here uh, the failure domain, the de definition is one is at the system level and other one is, this is at system level we can use it and this is at PRL model level we can use it. That is um, uh, importance uh, measure as a function of time is equal to QKT divided by QST, okay. So cut set contribution and, uh, uh, and this is basically the system's contribution total. QK is the time dependent probability of that minimal cut set. It is not called cut set but it is a minimal cut set. And uh, K occurs and uh, QST is the total system unavailability. So you saw that we found an elegant uh, mechanism to have a global importance measure using fuzzle Wesley importance measure. But then there are two more important measures which are very close to the, uh, you know, how we perform PRA and all that. And these two importance measures uh, we call risk reduction worth, how much risk is reduced, okay. Uh, so and next is risk achievement worth. So let us, uh, let us see how this risk reduction worth uh, importance measure is um, we have here. So, uh, so risk reduction worth importance measure pre presents a change in failure probability when the subject component I unavailability is set to zero. That means unavailability set to zero means there is no contribution of in unavailability of the system for, from this component. So what is the achievement? or reduction in risk. What is the reduction in risk? So that is components performance is reflected. So the formula is risk, uh, importance measure for RRW is risk reduction worth of a component is equal to system uh, QT unavailability and then system uh, availability given that, this is sign for given that this is sign for given that, given that QIT is equal to 0. So system availability originally divided by uh, 
um, setting up QIT is equal to 0. So it, the simple formulation uh, becomes uh, importance measure fuzzle Wesley is equal to normal system unavailability minus uh, QIT set to 0 and that is you uh, get what is the risk uh, reduction worth of the component. Okay. So uh, we found for cut set in, uh, equation in uh, PRA, uh, when we get the list of cut set in PRA uh, and then we get risk re reduction worth and risk achievement worth. Sometimes we have to set which, uh, which importance measure we want uh, and uh, the software computes uh, this importance and if we, uh, if we order them uh, in uh, descending order, then we will come to know which are mostly you will find that the common cause failure uh, components, uh, they become the major contributor because there, uh, the, it is a matter of how the component is placed and in what combination. Normally the com uh, common cause failures are single component generally which contribute to uh, safety. So because if one safety system or one uh, redundant set uh, becomes unavailable due to common cause failure, obviously its importance has to be more. I will explain by other example, in an electronic board or anywhere in the system, if all the components are connected in series and if single component failure leads to the failure of the system or failure of the electronic board, then the importance of the individual components will be higher. Okay, let us see the other scenario. We have three pumps uh, uh, in parallel, all three redundant components. So the risk, com risk contribution from each component will be less. So there will be less uh, risk significant because if one fails, there is other one and other fails, other one. So our two out of three combination, two failure we can absorb. Okay. So that's why the safety significance will be less. So series component, they get uh, higher priori priority uh, in um, through the uh, risk reduction worth or risk achievement worth, which we will see now here. Now risk achievement worth is, uh, is something like, it is similar to risk uh, reduction worth, but in RAW, uh, the system reliability, when QT is set to 1, 1 means now this component's contribution uh, uh, unavailability or QIT is highest. One is the highest un unavailability. Uh, that means the component is not available. It, is, it has failed. Failure probability is 1. So, and the system ratio of uh, this component's uh, the, uh, uh, contribution to the system divided by the system's unavailability uh, without disturbing any value in the uh, minimal cut set equation. So RAW is equal to system's uh, unavailability uh, when, when the value for QI that is ith component is set to 1 minus uh, unavailability in its reference uh, set form. So uh, this will give as risk achievement worth how much, uh, how much uh, uh, risk has increased by setting up QIT is equal to 1. Now it's a question of looking at uh, what we want, uh, risk achievement worth or risk uh, uh, risk reduction worth. So uh, uh, it is analyst choice, what he wants to see through and which uh, list gives more effective communication as far as the uh, identification of the uh, uh, safety significant components uh, for any operational or any or design use um, in real time. Uh, sensitivity analysis is a basically um, integral part of uh, risk-based engineering. Uh, it's a very powerful technique. Uh, why powerful? Uh, because uh, in uh, analysis, uh, we have to make some assumptions uh, because uh, it is not possible that always, uh, always when you uh, do the analysis, um, you have all the data. So some assumptions and boundary conditions, uh, they, are, they are basically falling part of the things. Now how these assumptions, they impact uh, the, uh, the results of the analysis, you know, how much it changes and how it has impact on the net output of the analysis. 
So that is where the sensitivity, let's say, I'll take the uh, simple example. Uh, for a particular component which was new in my plant and for which I did not have a data. But the testing was done in the, uh, uh, in the um, laboratory at Vendor's end. Uh, they, they would have done some limited testing and based on that, some idea was there. Ki, okay, this component will have a failure probability this much. But there is a lot of uncertainty because the data were limited on this. So, uh, what is done is, um, it is very simple and elegant mechanism. Uh, the probability of this component is varied between two bands. If you have done the uncertainty analysis, definitely uncertainty analysis will give a larger band because the data is limited. So, uh, in that larger band, as you can see here, 0 0.01 to 2, uh, I'll vary the data from here to here and I'll see what is the outcome net result it varies. Okay. Um, let us say the net result was core damage frequency. So, it is uh, changing from 0 0.01 to 2. That means the, uh, the uh, subject, the component, uh, its uh, uh, data, what we assumed, uh, had a huge variability. Now, we got this impact factor. Now, how to solve this problem? So, um, most of the times, what we do is, we take the upper bound value. So, upper bound, so the, the, this is uncertainty band, lower bound, 5% band, 35, 95% uh, band, and then uh, this is the result. Uh, and uh, they are, we use this value because uh, it is better to remain on, uh, on conservative side till we have acquired sufficient uh, experience in our plant itself. Because a similar component will be operating in 10 places or less 20 places. So, that accumulated experience will immediately tell us where we are actually uh, in one or two years or maybe a couple of years. And that time we can take the realistic statement, uh, uh, estimate and uh, uh, come out with a uh, net. So, uh, so I think it's a very, uh, very effective mechanism uh, to first, when the data is not there, use the, those data, uh, have some assumptions and, uh, and then uh, as the experience, first you see the impact, suppose if there was no impact, let us say uh, it, the core damage frequency would not have varied at all, it would have remained, the curve would have remained um, uh, horizontal, then we don't have to bother. Okay? And this type of issues, they form when we compile the document uh, towards end, when we want to give the results, which is sort of can be considered as a um, uh, normal uh, or you know the uh, most authentic. Uh, we have to do, do this kind of iterative exercises so that only uh, so what will happen is if the component say sensitivity was very high conservative value if there was no impact leave it there collect more data and um, uh, and if it is a minor uh, changes uh, then also we can uh, we can have a uh, discussion and see that we have to track this component how it varies so sensitivity analysis becomes a very important thing though it is not all that complex uh, in the context of PRA, uh, but it is required because we want to give results uh, and the associated uncertainties in a realistic manner. So, this is the total uh, uh, assessment and its impact on the uh, sensitivity. Now, overview of importance analysis. Uh, importance analysis uh, like sensitivity analysis are more, uh, more uh, critical parameter because the importance analysis for a given plant, uh, it provides, because we have seen various level of uh, uh, various type of uh, importance measures in this uh, lecture. So, we know how to prioritize our list. High importance, uh, it is generally said that if we uh, pay uh, uh, attention to highest uh, risk significant component, uh, and this is nothing more than 20 percent, then we will get 80 percent improvement in the system. Very powerful statement. So, that means uh, this importance analysis uh, and sensitivity analysis together, they have given a very important tool to understand our data, our, uh, uh, our performance of our system and then finally give a more realistic estimate. So, here also um, unavailability estimates uh, that was done at, uh, if it is varying from uh, 2 into 10 to minus 5 to 4 into 10 to minus 3. Uh, the vari uh, variability is high because we have opportunity at two level. One is at the core damage frequency level, 
and at unavailability level. So unavailability level itself we are varying here and we are seeing whether this system is important, whether it is contributing to the net output of the uh, analysis. So we are taking 5% uh, and this is 4 into 10 to the minus 3. Uh, that is, so you can say this itself is a very wide margin, uh, uh, you know, uh, in uncertainty. So uh, we are we are able to fix some value here. This will take, it is based on um, a mutual discussion, okay, what is the more realistic for our uh, plant. So, um, the, uh, we have, what we have discussed is um, importance analysis, uh, whether it is a risk reduction worth or uh, risk uh, achievement worth and uh, 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 IB, uh, Bernman importance measure or fuzzle based importance measure, they have their, one is inspection importance measure. So they have their uh, importance uh, uh, everywhere and uh, we have to see which importance measure works for the uh, for the for the job uh, that we are trying to uh, do it um, again the figure demonstrate the same thing that you know uh, unavailability variation and it see it's important and sometimes this kind of particular sensitivity analysis it tells us now if i go down uh, lower than the unavailability first it was cdf unavailability estimates i can go to the component level also okay, which component is contributing to this kind of uh, uh, which is very sensitive to top event. So that means I can go back to that component and I might change the design. I might put a redundancy in that place. So that overall uh, repercussion is the say, 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 component level, system level, uh, unavailability has improved and core damage frequency also has reduced. So uh, otherwise uh, without these tools uh, it is not possible to focus on uh, which are the areas which are sensitive and which are important uh, for uh, risk reduction. Now overview what we have uh, discussed in the, this uh, week is that we uh, rather in this lecture is uh, the five, uh, five important measures uh, in this thing and then the, uh, their model significance, limitation and applicability also was discussed. The purpose and broad procedure for sensitive analysis was discussed, you know, and the significance of sensitive analysis was also highlighted uh, in in these slides and this uh, this presentation uh, as we saw that. So with this, uh, I conclude uh, this uh, fourth lecture of this week, and uh, we will go to the next lecture, um, and that will be covering a very uh, operational or you know field topic that is maintainability. So let us wait till next lecture. Thank you very much.